my name is Alicia and if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome and it's my birthday night so how are you uh, for full disclosure I've been drinking a lot so if I say anything wrong or say anything backwards just please forgive me I'm gonna be saying a lot of things off tonight so Rednet Bank is the best it's the best small bank ever if you don't have a Rednet Bank account you should get one they always send birthday cards every year they're the best and of course, I love being, uh oh, get off there. I love being with Care Source. Um, they always send me birthday cards too. And I've noticed since getting older, um, if you're watching this and you're younger, I've always gotten the impression, especially when I've gotten older, that your birthday becomes a little less important to people around you. I don't know if it's because if you're younger and it's just like a newer thing when you get presents, but when you get older, you have to sometimes make it special for yourself. Like, especially me personally, I don't plan on getting married. I won't have a husband to take me out for birthdays and stuff like that. And I definitely don't plan on um, having kids. So sometimes you have to be your own celebration. But my girl, Amelia Minta, always comes through. She's one of my best friends, one of my close friends. And she always comes through with... Oh God, with balloons. And so I was surprised when she sent that. I love you. You have to find friends and people that will celebrate your birthday. And oh yeah, Ricky. Ricky from a couple days ago took me out and we had a good time. Because the reason why I bring that up is um, I, I'm in this group and she basically said, well, how come my friends are telling each other happy birthday, but they're not telling me happy birthday? That's because they don't value you as a friend, honey. <laughs> and um, it's about to cut off, so I'm about to make a part two. But I'm going to continue this conversation in one second. Boom. So to continue my point, I basically just said, um, I've had friends who've known me for years and have never wished me a happy birthday, have never sent a text or nothing. Simply that means they don't give a fuck. And I just told her and other people in the group, you have to find supportive people and people that really care about you. And that was my two cents. And uh, especially me nowadays, a lot of my friends are married a lot more than college and school. And they're not going to have time to celebrate your birthday with you like they did back in the heyday. So if you find that nobody's available, you just have to sort of make the best of the situation. Like uh, earlier today, I just went to go get me a drink. Uh, and my mom, we were going to go hang out. And then she's like, nah. And so she bailed. And I was like, oh, man. Because I love celebrating my birthday with my mom. Because obviously she's the reason why I'm here. And so when she said she couldn't, I'm like, oh, man. And now I am going to go with some friends after this video. I'm going to make a few edits. You know, edit a couple of um videos in this spot right here. You'll see it in a second. <laughs> I love it, Amelia. Thank you. I'm gonna spend a couple seconds pulling it out, so let me get back with you. Love you, babe. Boom. And who knows? I just might take some shots and come back. You don't have to be as crazy as it was a couple days ago. You don't have to be crazy like my 21st birthday. But I think it's good to celebrate every birthday every year because every birthday is a blessing, regardless if you have people around or not. And oh, so one more important thing I want to bring up before I go. The other day, remember I was saying that I was getting um offers for retirement homes, even though I'm nowhere near 65. And I'm also being able to play 20-somethings and teens on television while being 30. One of the things I have noticed about getting older also is I'm getting carded a lot less. I forgot to mention this but a couple days ago. Well, I was out with Ricky. They really didn't ask me for my ID, which I find really interesting because I get accused of having a baby face. And sometimes they're like, oh, you're too young being here. But so to finally finish this off. Yeah, I've noticed in recent years, even as recent as this past weekend and even, you know, just going out different bars. 
I'm getting carded a lot less and I'm happy about that because that means no one gets to see my address. And I still get it plenty, don't get me wrong, but I'm just noticing still um, when I go into bars, they just say, hey, what's your drink? I think that's amazing. Or, hey, what's your choice of drink? That's what I should say. So, I appreciate all the birthday um, wishes, texts, messages I've gotten. Love you guys. And um, I'm going to go ahead and drink a little shot of brandy. I'm not a huge brandy person, so I'm just going to take a little sip. Ooh, yeah, shit. That tastes, actually, that tastes pretty good. That's not bad. Cheers. And I'm going to continue my night. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Continue my night and um, talk to you guys later. Happy birthday to all my birthday buddies out there. Stay safe. Peace out. Bye-bye.